Howdy YouTube, it's your old buddy Texas Tuber Tim. We're back with some more Cubecraft Skyblock. And when we left off, we had just discovered and explored the Cold Taiga Island. That's it right there. And we got a number of things that we're going to uh, implement in our uh, base, uh, starting with the lapis that we discovered on that island. And uh, my goal here, if you can't tell, is I'm going to have a you know row of cobble eventually going that way. This will be the coal aisle, and so we'll put uh, lapis right beside it. And you'll see here I put two spaces in between because in my first playthrough I felt like um, one space in between is, is just a little too uh, crowded. All right, so we've got that, and we also picked up some more of these uh, charcoal spawners. So we'll uh, we'll finish off this stack, and then put some more down here, just like that. And uh, we got a rogue cow here, but that's all right. The other thing we uh, picked up in the recent episode was the chicken spawners, and I'm gonna for right now. We're not going to build a, a grinder because we to do it correctly, we really need to have a uh, an ocelot, which we're going to get uh, soon. So for the time being, we're going to let them free range and do their thing. Uh, we still have the cow dropper here, which is, is consistently giving us more free stuff. Uh, in fact, we almost have a half a chest of, of that. Um, and while we're here, let's let's uh, refill the cooker. Another another full stack of steaks, and let's top off the charcoal. All right. uh, we may as well throw the the steak and the chicken in here. I'm eating potatoes because they don't sell for as much as the cooked steak does. All right, so the, the other thing we need to do is uh, we discovered wheat. So we're going to uh, clear this area out and switch over to wheat. It'll take us a while to get to a point where we've got a full uh, crop to work with, but uh, we'll, you'll see here it, it will happen fairly quickly. Uh, initially, we've only got the three seeds. And yes, I could buy them, but I, I'm not going to do it. Uh, let, let me see, this takes eight minutes to grow. So it'll, it'll take us a while to get that done, but that's not a big worry of mine. Uh, the other thing is we had uh, no sword in the last episode, so let's run over here and make a sword real quick. Uh, I've got this broken one. Uh, did, didn't I just have a hatchet in my hand? Oh, there it went. Put you here to get rid of this one and let's make a spare. All right, and then uh, the other thing we did is we discovered the spruce uh, tree, which is this one. And we are gonna go in here and get that, that going because we have a, a quest to uh, gather spruce logs. Now we can put these as close as we want, but I'm spreading them out on purpose because you're gonna get more leaves, which will get you more of the spawners, or, or the uh, saplings. All right, so we have a, a quest to kill 20 chickens. We have a, a quest to harvest a certain amount of wheat. Uh, we have a quest to gather lapis, which we can't do at the moment. And I still haven't figured out how these cows are getting out of the dropper without dying, but uh, probably some, some kind of glitchy thing going on. Uh, but for the time being, we're just going to let the chickens uh, run, run amok and, and do their thing. All right, and I forgot to check this. Uh, these take, what was that, five hours? Yikers, it's going to take a while. And I'm not worried about broken tools because um, we have 
plenty of um, plenty of uh, stone and wood, and more importantly, we don't have enchanted tools yet. All right, so we're making good progress on the chickens here, but uh, for the time being, uh, not so much with the the other quest. Uh, speaking of that, I want to put my shop guy back here. Oh, uh, I didn't want you there. I want you... I keep forgetting it puts it where you're standing, not where you're looking. So maybe over here. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see, can we finish up this chicken thing? So this uh, video playthrough series is dedicated to helping you... Um, get through this game much quicker than you might otherwise and um, I learned in my first playthrough that there's a lot of things um, where you, you can get very uh, easily distracted um, by by other things going on in the game that kind of keep you from doing things in a smart and efficient way so that's kind of the premise of the, uh, the video series is to help you all uh, more quickly get through the game and spend less time grinding. All right, so chickens. Um, where'd you go, chickens? Oh, we need to cook them. All right, so let's uh, let's grab you out of here. Just throw all this food in here for right now. And we're still getting these drops, too, which are going to translate to some free money. All right, so quest-wise, we have the uh, wheat farming. We have the spruce trees. We have this other one for enchanting. Let's take a look at that. Oh, that's just uh, gathering lapis. So at this point, we're in a, a kind of a grinding mode where I am going to uh, pause the video so that you don't have to watch... Uh, me grinding um, things uh, so we're gonna pause here but we'll be right back and I'll show you where we are with the with the progress uh, we are gonna be expanding the wheat we're gonna be mining the lapis every chance we get we are going to be um, expanding the spruce farm and collecting the spruce wood and also in all the while we will uh, continue to gather cobble and coal uh, while we're doing that. So let's pause here and I'll come back when we got some of this questing finished. Okay, so we're back. I'm just going to quickly show you that we have completed the cooking the qu uh, the chicken quest and I'm going to switch back to uh, steaks. Um, but we got that done and, and what I'm doing, I call this running the circuit. So I, I, I am uh, getting my column of cobble. I do a row of the uh, charcoal, the coal. And then I go back to the cobble, and then I basically repeat that process over and over again. Uh, you could obviously also go do the chicken farming. And then with regard to the wheat, we've done uh, one rotation here. These take eight minutes. And what I've done is I use my phone to, to turn on a timer for eight minutes so I know when to go check it. And then I don't have to walk over there unnecessarily. Uh, obviously still picking up the beef and the leather coming from the cow dropper. So I'm going to pause again, but that's what we're up to. Okay, so we're back. And the timer just went off, so I'm checking my wheat real quick. Now I noticed last time I didn't get very good yield on my seeds. I think I did better that time around. So now we're up to... Uh, on a, what, a row, a row and a half of uh, seeds. Um, the other thing we've been doing uh, is we're, we're collecting our lapis. Uh, you can see here the spawner uh, just reset. And I'm carrying spare tools because they're, they're breaking pretty regularly. So this should get us over the 50 we needed for the quest. And I'd have to check my sheet, but I'm pretty sure 
what happens now is it's going to send us on quest to um, do some enchanting. Uh, we've been working the cobble and the coal as well. I just removed all these pumpkins and they've already grown back. So this is going really fast. Um, and in, in the course of doing all this stuff, I've, I've accumulated all this um, material that we could sell. We might keep the charcoal, but the point being... Uh, lots and lots of stuff we can sell. Uh, I'm going to sell the leather and the steak for the purpose of showing you the value of the the cow dropper that we built. Uh, the bonus with uh, chickens is you get feathers, which are, are good for money, and you also get eggs. And cook chicken uh, technically sells for more than steak, but the hassle there is you have to actually chase them around doing it the way I'm doing it. So... Uh, we got 775 for the chicken. Uh, the eggs, we'll get another 200 or so for that. We're going to sell the feathers. Almost 1,000 for less than a stack. Uh, leather, 1870. And then, what else do we have? Steak, 5,800. So that's what this dropper is doing for us. It's making it really easy for us to make some easy money. In fact, at this point, I want to buy another... Uh, no, I want to buy a, a mob uh, generator for the cows. And those will cost me $25,000. Oh, we, do, we don't have enough for that? Oh, we're a little short. All right, no worries. We'll just keep working at it. We're very close to getting there. So uh, that's what we're up to. Uh, and somehow these two trees grew uh, faster than they should have. But we're just going to roll with it. Uh, perhaps because... Uh, well, I don't know why that would have done this. But uh, we're going to see if we can get some more saplings out of this. Because we need a lot of this wood to complete the spruce log quest. So we'll continue to work on that. We are going to uh, continue to grind on the the wheat, the cobble, the coal, and um, checking the cow dropper, things like that. Um, we're just basically trying to gather as much stuff as we can as quickly as we can. And that tree just grew. So that's what we're up to. We're just running the circuit. We're gathering materials and doing anything we can to expand the wheat farm and the tree farm as we're doing it. Um, so I'm going to pause again, and we'll be back here in a minute to update you on our progress. Okay, so we're back. And, and when we left off, we were we were running the circuit, which means going in a circle, doing all the things we can to collect and get stuff. And we're at a point now where we've got some more wheat going. And we're going to try and expand this as best we can. And the other thing I've done is I've been going around, I've been, uh, I, I obviously continue to pick up over there, but I've been uh, dropping off extra stuff that we don't, we don't need for sale. And I'm going to sell uh, some items because I'm specifically trying to get another spawner that we can use for the um, purchase of another, uh, we're trying to purchase another cow spawner so we can uh, increase our output with this free leather and free beef that we've got going here. So let's sell, no, we're not selling coal. Um, we're going to sell the eggs. We're going to sell the leather. Now selling that lapis could be tempting. And I'm actually uh, tempted to do that as well, but I'm not going to sell it. Uh, mostly because we need it for enchanting and, and we, we've accumulated quite a bit of XP. We should be able to get some nice enchantments based on where we are. Got a couple extra seeds I don't need. Um, 
and then we'll sell the steak and we are not going to sell wheat because we need that for the cookie quest all right so let's get rid of this extra stuff And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back here. We're going to buy a, a cow spawner. And then we're going to make sure we have the equipment we need. We have some planks. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a bucket just in case. And we'll fill it up with water. Uh, let's leave that in in our hand just in case and then uh we're, i guess my ladder was on the other side so we're going to run up here and it's basically uh based on how we built this it's basically a simple matter of digging a hole and dropping in the, the new spawner and poof we've got double the output which will uh be nice because here again this is uh we're getting free free uh beef and we're getting free um leather from having done this all right so let's get my plank ready jump up here the hatchet on that drop the spawner and then we will Oh, wrong. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna do this so I can get my my blocks out of the way. And make sure the water works properly, which it is. And we got that done. All right, so we'll hop back down. And after a minute or so, it should kind of get back into high gear with, with cows dropping. And we will have uh, twice as much leather and, and uh, beef as we did previously, which will be nice. All right, so let's go here. We're going to fill up the, or top off the, the steak cooker. Get rid of some extra stuff here we don't need. And that basically is where we're at. So let's have a look. Is this turning on a good volume? I think it's still resetting, maybe. There it goes. Make it may take it a minute to kind of kick into high gear. Uh let's put this bucket down before we forget where we had it. Alright, so we've got the weed going. Uh, that's taken, I think, eight minutes. We've, uh, these logs, I said five hours. It's six minutes is what it is. Uh, so this is uh, coming on fairly nicely. Um, but the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to show you the uh, questing status. So if we go here, we have a couple to complete. Uh, first, uh, Wheat Farmer is, is only 44%. Uh, here's a new quest where we need to do a spawner upgrade, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, we have about half of the, the spruce uh, material we need, and then we've got this other one called Enchanting a Princess, so we can enchant any item to level one. All right, for that, we're going to need some lapis. And I usually just keep a full stack in my inventory so I have it. And then we're going to, uh, let's see, let's use this on the pick initially, so we'll, we'll use this pick. And then we're going to head to the Skyblock Hub, and you will spawn in here. So uh, there's a couple things to show you here uh, for the early game. Uh, this is where you're going to repair your tools, but over here is where you can do enchantments. So you'll need to have XP and Lapis just like you do in the normal game, but you're looking for this guy here. And I'm going to enchant my Stone Axe, and I'm initially going to go for... Fortune because I want to get the bonus drops and it's that simple now we could do more uh, enchanting here but there are going to be other enchanting quests and if I if I do all my enchanting now I'm going to use all my XP so I'm going to wait 
here again, uh, avoid that temptation of doing stuff before the game asked me to. Uh, because in, in the end, it's just going to be quicker. All right, so to upgrade a chicken spawner, you go, you left click on it with an empty hand. It says we're going to need 7,500 coins, which we don't have. And we're going to need some uh, raw chicken, um, 10 specifically. And what that will do is it will upgrade the, uh, see how the chicken has like a toughness level. And it's a chicken level 8. It will make the... Uh, the chicken even uh, stronger than it already is. Now this is a lower level spawner. This is a spawner level three, so I only need 2,700 to upgrade that one. Whereas, whereas this one is a level five spawner. Um, and we might, we might. Let's see. Uh, we have 1,600 coins, so uh, we could probably scrounge the money together to do that, but I'm not going to be too concerned with it right this second. All right, so we are going to continue to do what we've been doing. We're going to work the wheat, the lapis, the coal, and the cobble. We're going to go through here and get our pumpkins. We're going to uh, get all the wood we can. We'll continue to grind on the game and uh, show you uh, where we stand with it when we uh, resume our next episode. So if you haven't already done so, please go to texastubertim.com. We have a website with all of our social links on it. We're on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and, of course, YouTube. Finally, don't forget to smash that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and, and leave us a comment. Uh, whether you have a question about how to do something in the game or you're just trying to uh, say, hey, I really appreciate the videos, or, or maybe you have some ideas on how we could do things differently or better. So y'all have an amazing day. Above all... Stay frosty.